Right, Food Review Club, how are you doing? Happy Easter from Joe, your Northern correspondent here in a wonderful Ram's Bottom, or as the locals call it, Rammy. We're next to this, I don't know what this is. Do you know what it is, Chris? We don't know what this is, but it's something significant to the town of Ram's Bottom. Do you also know that Ram's Bottom is the host of the World Black Pudding Throwing Championships? Did you know that, Chris? Every single year in September, over there, they lob black puddings at Yorkshire Pudding and see how many they can knock down. Wild. We're here today to celebrate Easter at the Chocolate Cafe. Easter eggs that they make inside there, big bars of chocolate that they make inside there, their own hot chocolate mixtures that they make inside there. It's Ram's Bottom's very own Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. And I'm going to be Augustus Gloop today. Leave it out. Let's go and try some chocolate, Chris, shall we? Come on, this way. Hello, Joe. How are you doing? Philip, Philip's here. Look at this, wonderful to meet you. Morning. Hiya, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Joe, how are you? How are you? Good. Philip, this is looking pretty good, mate. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the Chocolate Cafe? Yeah, well, so we've been here 15 years in Ram's Bottom. Yeah. So it was just 15 years. So it's just at our 15th birthday on the old lady's lady, oh, she's squeezing yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Our 15th birthday on the 11th of February. So I took it over just before COVID. Yeah. We've rebranded all our chocolate to Crafty Chocolate. So that's our, our brand name. Um, and yeah, you know, we. We manufacture our chocolate in Berry. Uh, really? So this is all sort of stuff that's made local? Yeah, so everything you see on here, uh, we, we produce. Now, obviously we're in Ramsbottom today, yeah. and it's Easter time, and I've already got my sort of eyes drawn to this big selection here. Yeah. Easter eggs galore. What, what's some of your main big selling Easter eggs at this time of year? So we've got our sprinkles eggs, which is probably one of our best. So in there, there's uh, about 100 grams of Haribo covered in sprinkles. Re really fun to think. Just feel weight on that. Just feel weight on that. That's weighty, that. Oh, yeah, you Chris, can... that's heavy. You dumbbells with that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some of the small eggs. I've got some of the best selling products out there, if you want to have a, have a little look. Have a little yeah, look. Sure. How hard is it to make an Easter egg? They look hard to make, to craft, to put together. <sighs> What's going on? So, you use two moulds, and then the majority of uh, Easter eggs will be then put in a spinner. So, a spinner? Yeah, so you'll have two moulds which you'll flood with chocolate, and you'll flood it out, then you'd put that in a spinner, and then that would spin like that, yeah. and then that would coat it and seal the, seal the eggs. Unbelievable. So that's one of our uh, scrambled egg boys, our mini egg boy. So if you look at that, that's packed with about 100, uh, well, it's about 100 grams of chocolate and about yeah. 80 grams of mini eggs. We have these filled eggs. Now, do you want to have a go? Yeah, have a go little of feed eggs. Can I have a little go at this? Yeah, so yeah. in here, we have got a hazelnut cream and milk chocolate, uh, a white hazelnut cream. We've got our version of a mini egg. And then you might like this one, the red one. It's caramelised chocolate, like caramel. Yeah. With Biscoff and Nutella. Oh, in, which let's have a little look at this. So, who comes up with the inventions? Like, who, and obviously, you get called Willy Wonka a lot. Who sort of has their mind thinking about all these different new chocolates? Uh, so, myself generally. Look at the shine on. This. Oh, look oh, at the shine. He loves it. Shine. Look at the shine. Yeah. And then. Oh, recently, Kate, our social media manager, has come up with a lot of good ideas. She is, she is like Mrs. Wonka at the minute. That's beautiful, that. Yeah, it's like that. That's incredible. My mind's been drawn here, Chris. Hot cross bun, chocolate. And then we, we actually, this is probably one of my favorite, speaking of, we do a hot cross bun boy. So that's got the, uh, all the elements of a hot cross bun with our house milk, milk chocolate in. So this is our take on a cream egg bar. So no one's ever done a cream egg bar before. It's all been a cream egg. So we call it the double Yorker. Yeah. So that has got vanilla fondant in it. And it's actually got a cut custard York in it. What does so, that mean? So it's flavored with cut custard. Really? Yeah, well, and you it know. does look like the... So, you know, being from the north, yeah, yeah, we yeah. like a bit of custard in the north. <laughs> <laughs> So Ooh, now, look at, now look at that pole there. Oh, look at that. Food Review Club, we have just been told that an Easter platter is being made for us as we speak. But would we like a hot chocolate beforehand? Chris, have you ever seen a hot... Let's have a little look at this. This is the biggest hot chocolate you've ever seen in your life. What is going on here? Oh. My. Oh. Right, should I just take a swig? 
How's this going to go, Chris? This isn't going to go well, is it? Um, you're, you're making a mockery of me, aren't you? Wish me luck, everyone. Food Review Club. Oh, it's a Bailey's one as well. Oh, it's a Bailey's hot chocolate. Right, um, as a little starter, normally we used to like a little garlic bread, portion of wings. But when you're at a chocolate cafe, this is what loosens you up a bit. In case you're in the mood, a Bailey's hot chocolate. Chris, I can't wait to eat these Easter eggs now. I can't wait. Mm. Food Review Club, we have got loads of chocolate to try. I know it's a little bit different, but it's Easter time we'll indulge today. I want to try this. Hot cross buns in a chocolate bar formation. Fresh raisins in there, loads going on. Hot cross bun bar, made here in Berry. A hot cross bun, dead buttery, on an Easter morning. Oh, this is gonna be a delight. I guess there's a nice bit of cinnamon running through the chocolate. Oh, Chris. Chris. Those flavours, man. It's so intense. You are transported back to incredible flavours of the beautiful sultanas that are running through there. Nice orange peel. Lovely kick of cinnamon. The bite that the chocolate has, but then obviously you've got more texture with the fruit. What a bar. I tell you who'd love this, Grizz. An older member of your family. Do the ones that love hot cross buns, really love them. And instead of getting them an Easter egg, and you can't just buy them some hot cross buns. This is the treat, bang in the middle. I've also been handed <clears throat> this Easter cup. This looks pretty special. The chocolate cafe is not disappointing so far. Willy Wonka, eat your heart out. Oh my. So this was halved in there for us, but it looks beautiful. Should we have a little go? Halved in there for the split of the life. Are you ready, Chris? You wanna get this? Yep. yep. Oh, look at that. It's got chocolate creaminess all in there. What's inside of that? So it's like a lovely bit of cake. Outside it's a chocolate cup, milk chocolate on top. I'm gonna have to go for a bite. If the six-year-old kid, when I was a chubby lad, still a chubby lad, could see that I was eating oh, chocolate delights like this from a cafe called the Chocolate Cafe. He would be in heaven for the star of the show the Easter egg lots of us will be diving into different Easter eggs across the weekend I personally like the Kit Kat one to me Chris what do you like what's the bar you like a bit of cream egg a cream egg one but those are just the classics these are the ones that are so unique made here with love with a, a different dream oh my god chris put one hand out if you can feel how weighty that is Ooh, it's weighty isn't it right i don't know what to do here what's your technique normally at home do you smack it on your head Whoa. what should i do i got that bang <laughs> but chris what should i do should i calmly open it should i punch it <laughs> huh? how do i calmly open this chris <laughs> What I'm gonna do to save spillage, I'm gonna punch it whilst it's in its packet. All right, get in the comments. Do you punch your egg? Do you punch your egg? <laughs> right, you ready? Oh, look at this. What a punch! Oh, Chris, look at this. Get in here, get in here. Harry Bows, beautiful Harry Bows. That's why it was so weighty. Oh, you got the egg, you got the love art. 
to get a, the sweets combination with the chocolate. Well, how does the Easter egg taste? I think we can all agree. Normal Easter egg chocolate tastes better than normal chocolate. It's unbelievable. But what did they put in it? Is this the same? Is this chocolate better than normal chocolate? Oh. Let's have a look. It's just beautiful, Chris. Beautiful milk chocolate. Un unbelievable. Go on. Here's how we break it down. All right, Easter special. I'll talk you through some of the price points and then the review. This big Easter egg here, very unique, is around eight to nine pounds. Now, I know you're thinking, the Cadbury's ones, you can get them, a good one, big one for four or five quid. This isn't Cadbury's, this is a local trader who made these Easter eggs just a couple miles down the road, filled with something different and unique. The value for money is up, do you see a branch just fell on me then? Are we getting attacked by a squirrel? Made with something completely unique, looks beautiful, and it tastes gorgeous. The chocolate inside it is so smooth, so soft, and the weight of it, Chris, you compare the weight of a, a normal Easter egg, it's such good value for money. I'm gonna give this a wonderful 8.5 out of 10. Couple stay there, Chris. These chocolate bars. These chocolate bars, really big, creamy chocolate bars, around three, three pound fifty. Again, you say oh, I can get a big chocolate bar, Cadbury's for about two quid. This is made with love, and the flavours are different flavours you'll never get. If you're looking for a way to treat your gran at Christmas or someone who loves hot cross buns, <coughs> it's just a hot, it's just beautiful. I'm going to give this a nice eight out of ten. But these cups for me with the vine. Look at it. Creamy. Egg cup. A gorgeous bite of food. It's a sweet treat. Oh man. They get a 9.5 out of 10. Ooh. And the Bailey's hot chocolate, you're getting a 10 out of 10. And if you disagree, shove it. Right then. I don't want to say shove it. Easter's the time of love, Chris. It's a time of eating far too much chocolate. And if you want to do something special, you want to push the boat out, get yourself to a local place that does incredible, incredible Easter eggs that are homemade, made with love, made with fresh ideas, and not the same old boring ones. The chocolate cafe is definitely that. And that's why you're gonna get overall a nine out of 10. Go eat lots of chocolate this Easter, uh, Food Review Club. Thank you very much for watching. You're always so lovely to me. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're in Ramsbottom, by the way, for the next couple of uh, episodes. Keep your eye out. Pizza place, a chip shop, a big, great social bar called Ramsbottom Social. Loads coming up on the Food Review Club channel. See you in a bit. See us big daddy B, pubs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Where's the boss of the burger?